Hello everybody and welcome back to the video on my YouTube channel. I'm Nicholas and today we're back with another episode of First Time Reacting. Today it's gonna be my first time watching, listening and reacting to a YG boy group that I've been aiming to check out for so long and finally got reminded today that I really should do it. We're talking about Winner who had their long way to come back earlier this year and we are going to be checking out their debut, the most viewed song and the most recent comeback which are empty, really really and I love you. Okay, the thing is about Winner, like mentioned, they were one of those groups that have now been wanting to check out for so long, but never really got to, and then they actually did have their comeback, but it just, I just never got to checking it out when it was actually released. I originally wanted to check out just a new music video, but then didn't do it for some reason, you know, time problems or whatever. Then I thought about doing a video like this already a while ago, but never came to it either, you know, because so much other stuff came in and started a second channel or whatnot, you know. And now the thing was, Earlier today, I made a post on Reddit talking about, you know, we've had so many big YG comebacks this year. When is Zomi going to ever come back, you see, right? But in the title, I said, you know, we already had Treasure, Big Bang, Icon, and Blackpink comeback, you know? And one of the comments says, I can't believe you forgot about Winner. And then I was like, Nicholas, how did you forget about them? How have you still not reacted to them? You gotta do it today. And that's what we're doing it here today. Okay, winner, a used to be five member, now four member boy group on the YG Entertainment with the members Jun, Jinu, Huni, and Mino. We've actually already reacted to Jun slash Sung Jun, um, solo from last year, I think. Or was it Sung Hoon? I think it was uh, Song Yoon. Yeah, we actually reacted to that last year, but they, they got blocked for 74 copyright reasons to the YG, you know, typical. Uh, but I actually do know Mino from his interactions with Jenny. I actually remember Huni from his um, collab he did with Lisa, you know, the, the, just a dance change and whatnot. Like, I already, you know, have some experience, slash, I've already known some of the members here before, but I just never got to actually check out the actual group, okay? But we're changing it here today, okay? And they have 50 music videos overall, so the perfect way to split this up is to first start with these three big key moments, okay? Debut, most viewed song, and the news comeback, and then we have 12 songs slash music videos remaining that we then can do in three catching up on videos with four music videos each down the road. But now, the long time waiting, okay? It's been a long time coming, so finally time to finally check out Winner with their debut song released on August 11th, 2014, sitting at 50 million views, empty. And like mentioned, they used to be five members, actually very early on, Taehyun left the group in 2016, and since then they, so now already much longer been promoting as four members instead of five, just not like mentioned with the with uh, with five members still, but obviously I won't be able to tell who's who anyways, maybe I do will recognize Mino, I think that's him, you're actually on the pop there. Either way, long enough intro. Let's start the talking and let's start the reacting. First time listening, watching, and reacting to Winner and their debut music video, Empty. Let's check it out. 2014 YG times. What could we expect? Something hip hop? Something a bit more popularity? You know? Will they go into a similar direction like Big Bang? Something entirely unique? Different? Let's find it out. Subtitle sadly, but mm -hmm. there's soft beat as far. I think that's me, right? Again, I'm not sure. I, I don't know. Huh. Yeah. Just give me a bit of a. Oh, which Big Bang song was it, vibe? You know, like soft. Soft hip hop flow here. Very talking. Very fast talking, way right? of delivery. Oh. It do is a vibe though. Like very, very nice and comfortable to listen to vocally. Ooh. Very high register here. Ooh, now a bit more. Normal. Never mind. It's a very simple 
production here thus far. Yeah, yeah. Kind of what I was expecting. Either in the full hip hop direction or something like this, you know, which feels a bit more like a pop hip hop a lot. Ooh, but simple as the production is, it's a very smooth song and the way it's all connected together. Music video also rather simple, but style is sick. Close ups and wide shots, the way we implement that together. And then the way the chorus just seemingly smoothly transitions in without any big, you know. It's a very chill impact sound. That's a very cool set piece though, I really like that. Actually everything is a bit torn and ripped down, you know. Kinda suits the empty vibe. Ooh, I like his tone a lot. It's a very nice vocal color. Little bit of raspiness in there. I really like his vocal flavor. Ooh, now the set with the snow here. Ooh, who said with the very high voice here though? I don't think it's just high delivery, but... Hmm. But just certainly very bright the tone. It really stands out. Ooh, but this is such a nice melody though. It's really such a comfortable listening experience. Another. Oh. Hey, really? I was just about to say, you know, a nice little, you know, fade out like that. You know, where we just let the beat play out a little bit and then they cut it off in exactly the moment I was about to say it. Oh, well. Okay. Winner is empty, though. A very long song, but it doesn't really feel like that. You know, it doesn't really feel like it's dragging itself out. It feels naturally getting to that length, okay, like, they didn't really, you know, implement too many unnecessary sections in the song to, to get give it that length, no, the, the song just needed to be that length to fully, you know, and it could have actually been, like, mentioned 10 seconds longer with a little um, beat fade out, but alright, it's like I anticipated, like mentioned, um, when I hear YG, I always either think of the extremely high hip hop or something a bit more sentimental hip hop, you know, like a pop a lot in that direction. Then we actually did end up getting this, but then actually even softer tone than usual, you know, like we did have a bit of flow in there, you know, a bit of rap, um, but it was much softer in comparison to like, you know, some Icon songs that went into such a direction or Big Bang songs that went into such a direction, yeah, like G Dragon and, and Top or um, Bobby, as example, just have a bit more, you know. Have a bit more aggressiveness and intimidation when they when they flow here. This was all way more soothing, way more softer, way more smoother. Generally, the song, in my opinion, is um just very compact together. Okay, I feel like there's no like when you produce a song, it didn't really intend to be there. You know, that that's actually a really good thing here to show. I think this is basically an excellent, you know, this this new feature that you see down here, you know, where you can see the most replay part. The most replay part here is at the beginning where the actual song starts, okay? Everything else is just intros. So the, the most replay part is, is, is where the song actually starts. The rest, as you can see here, is basically an even line. And it really works together with how the song ended up being because there isn't a big spike. There isn't a big highlight moment, whatever it's, you know. This doesn't even have really a choreo, you know, the music video didn't really show choreo or anything like that. There was no big hollow moment in that sense, neither in the song nor in the music video or anything. It's just a very linear, enjoyable song, okay? It's just from start to finish a very comfortable listening experience where the vocal picture just really works nice together. The instrumental is really enjoyable and comfortable to listen to. And like mentioned, they have a good variety of voices too. There was like mentioned one voice that was really high. Okay, there was not just high register, but just generally much more bright in comparison to the other members, uh, which really stood out. And especially here in the bridge section, um, the one member had such a very nice respiratory tone in it that I really, really enjoyed. Generally, it's a great vocal showcase, okay? I think it's a very different debut alone for that, okay? Like many, many other YG uh, boy groups especially debuted with something heavier, with something more, you know, like Rhythm Ta or um, Treasures I Love You. Is it, what is I Love You? 
uh, what was what was Sergio's debut song? But it was definitely also in a much more you know um, explosive direction. This is a much more different approach for a debut. You know, not the classic watchy hip hop epicness, but instead something much cooler, much smoother, much more lean back. You know, it's a type of song you put onto your playlist and you can just listen to it in the background. And you know, calling something background music is never meant to be. You know, because I often see people call that a bad or negative, you know, way to describe music. No, background music is, from my opinion, songs. You can put it in the background, just, you know, just let it do its thing, okay? You don't need to focus on it too much. You can sing along with it, but you can also just, you know, like write some notes or just study or whatnot, and you have the song playing in the background and just has a very positive and comfortable effect on you, okay? I think that's what a winner's empty is for me straight away, okay? Vocally, very, very nice and enjoyable. The music, way, like mentioned, was also rather calm and, you know, not that fast or, you know, was more of a... It, it suited the vibe of the song, basically, even though, like, sets like these were really, really cool to watch, nonetheless. It's definitely a much less of a highlight debut in that sense, you know, like, it's, it's not really highlight filled, nor is it a big standout in that way, okay? It's definitely not a song that, in mean, comparison to other debuts or, like, other songs really, you know, spikes out to do specialness within it, but it's a good song, okay? I think it's a totally solid hip-hop a lot or again not really a hip-hop a lot in that sense like we did have a bit of flow in there but like more of a pop a lot i think pop a lot is simply the better way to call it but yeah winner is empty without lyrics though so yeah, like mentioned i think the lyrics may even add a little bit more to the enjoyness and uh, or just in, to, the enjoy factor of the song you know if you know the meaning behind it and the lyrics have some some nice vocabulary and stuff and that may make the lines feel a bit better but all in all winner is empty and enjoyable vocal focus pop a lot okay that was enjoyable. Totally solid debut. And we're now moving over three years into the future, or two and a half years into the future, to their most um, well-known song, their most popular song, which is really, really is hitting at 186 million views, released on April 4th, 2017. At this point, now already with um, one member down, you know, Tae like mentioned, I'm not sure what was up with him, if there was a controversy or something like that. I do gotta say, though, man, Big Bang, Winner, Icon, everybody lost a member. It seems to be a YG thing in some way, huh? But yeah, really, really, I actually know the song, okay? But I've never listened to the original. I've listened to um, a Dreamcatcher cover of it. Yeah, where three Dreamcatcher members covered... Wait, well, Yu Hyun, Sua, and Shion. I think Yaya Tam is what they call it, a subunit there for the special clip. But never listened to the actual original, okay? But I really enjoyed the cover version of it already. Let's finally check out the OG, okay? The actual delivery of it. And obviously, like mentioned... Given the views and given that it's the most popular song, there's a reason for it. I already feel like I understand why from that cover listen I did back then. But now let's get to the actual song. Winner, winner. No. <laughs> Not winner, winner, really. Winner with really, really. Let's go. The chorus is like really, really fun. Ooh, that's the voice again. He has like a nice flavor. And that's a very high, bright tone. Exactly in comparison. These two really have standard voices, in my opinion. Was it? Was it some new? We checked out the solo from. It was released this year. I'm not sure, but I really like his tone. Think of the black water sake though. Ooh, why do I expect a? Like, man, it's been a while since I checked out the cover, but I think we're gonna get a rap breakdown now. Some way. That's me, no. That's me, no. Yeah, yeah. I've actually did check out a song of his already, which was with Bobby from his most recent album. I only checked that out eventually. You got a cool flow. It's a cool, it's a cool rap section though. It really suits the vibe. It does feel out of place or anything. Ooh, but his voice like mentioned, I really like his voice a lot. Ooh, 
The pre-chorus is a very good build-up. It's not too explosive or high or whatever. It's just a really good tone and then. Really, 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 really. It's a really catchy song. Really, 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 really. It's a really catchy chorus, man. Really, 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 really. It's like so simple and sing-alongable, you know? <laughs> the beat also, like mentioned, is really, really comfortable. It's a very bright pop beat, but like, not too high in the pitch or whatever. Just a perfect right lane. It's such a feel-good anthem, you know? Really, 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 really. Really, 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 really. All right. The music video is also really very enjoyable. You know, like mention the black and white aesthetic. Yeah. <laughs> the way they just, the way they, <laughs> the way they were dancing. You know, you know, like mention it's a. Was much more, you know. Softer tone there. But all right. Oh yeah, and I remember Mino, and they're very, very um, involved in the writing process actually. All right, it's such a fun song. Like I mentioned, already had the, the core of it within my mind because I've checked out the cover of Dreamcatcher back then already. So it was an entirely, you know, first time reaction to the actual song, but it was a first time reaction to the original of it. And like mentioned, winner has cool voices. Okay, I think like mentioned, um, the rap line is a cool delivery and um. The other vocalist, like mentioned, one has a very bright voice, the other one has a more raspier, um, normal tone, you know, it's just really harmonized well together, I think they really have a good, uh, good, a uh, very good group dynamic, okay? And, like mentioned, this song is a feel-good summer anthem, you know? It, the tempo is on point, you know, it's not too fast, not too slow, it just has a really good medium pacing, it's not too loud, not too soft, it just has that perfect middle spectrum of so many things, and then, like mentioned, ends up and wraps it up with this extremely catchy chorus, okay? Really, 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 really. Do, 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 do. Really, 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 you know, it's just, it's just so catchy, it's so simple, it really reminds me a bit of, um, Love Shot by EXO in that sense, right, because EXO's uh, Love Shot chorus is also so simple, but the melody is just so catchy and just so memorable, and it's just so easy to sing along. You know, you don't, you don't really gotta sing. You don't need to be able to sing to sing along the chorus, okay? I mean, I sing along and rap along anyways, even though I suck at it. But, like, it's really the type of chorus that just works in its simplicity and its catchiness and just really evaluates the otherwise also really good song. You know, it's like, it's not just the chorus. Obviously, the chorus is the highlight of the song, but, like, the rest of the song, the intro, the verse pictures, and the more vocal focus part, and the uh, flow part, they were all really enjoyable. It's such a, all the way through, really enjoyable song, okay? Just every bit of it, just, just, it's fun, okay? It's just a fun watch, all the way through. Was it Mino, by the way? I hope so. Like mentioned, I'm, it's my first time reaction to the full group, and I've only listened to one Mino song before, like mentioned, only seen them in a few Jenny clips, and you know, like, um, what did they do? On the, was it on the stage with um Jenny where, where Jenny and Mina were both you know and he did like the you know I remember that clip a lot and when wasn't Jenny also in one of these shows with other YG members I think that was Mina involved too but like again if it wasn't him then oh well but either way what is really really okay I totally understand why it got so popular and why it has so many views okay why it is their most popular song it's an extremely enjoyable fun summer anthem it's just a feel good cheerful vibe all the way through the music video with it's black white aesthetic is also just really enjoyable okay also nothing too crazy either you know but just really suits the vibe and tone of the song it's a really fun track okay it's a really fun track. It's a type of song you can probably just listen to all day, or just you know you hang out with your friend and just gives you, with your friends and just gives you all the good vibes all together as so you just vibe with it. Okay, when it's really released, just one of these feel good K-pop songs. Okay, I feel like each Y. I feel like it's actually insane to think that each YG group actually has one really popular song, like Blackpink and Big Bang, just generally, you know. But I feel like you know. um Treasure just recently at Darari, you know, um, I can add last scenario, and there's one of them really, really, you know. It's like, they've always managed to get at least one song that really, really influenced the masses, or just really, really gets to the general public. If a winner was really, really, and I totally understand why. 
very enjoyable. And now we're moving five years, over five years into the future with the most recent comeback, which was released nearly three months ago on July 5th. I love you. And again, I wanted to check it out when it was originally released, but I think I had, I don't know, like mentioned, there are so many things sometimes, you know, maybe you just don't feel like it that day, you know, like, you know, don't have the energy for it because I had to do much other stuff or just, I genuinely don't have the energy for it, you know, and then it just, you know, just drags and drags and drags. And the thing with most of these release always is, if at least for channels like me, if I'm not one of the first, or like release it on the same day, then often, you know, when you like release it a week later or so on its own, then it just, many people may not see and then just always feels, you know, then you're like, ah, oh, maybe you can do something else now that may do better and stuff like that, you know, and then all just culminated now, you know, got pushed back and pushed it aside more and more, but now it's finally here. We're checking out the winner's most recent comeback. I love you. Let's check it out. How long was it till they... Well, like, how long um, were they on hiatus before? I think also a while. But yeah, his voice is mm, really good. Ooh, I like the oh, bit of a disco flavor though, visually. You know, they're both the lightning and the outfits. And that's our our bright vocal vocal guy. I think you. I think that's you. That's me, no? Yeah, more familiar with his look nowadays. Oh! Oh! Now that's an actual- Oh wow, this smell actually. Oh! In comparison to the other songs, this is actually a very explosive chorus. You know? Ooh, the drip though. They look fresh. Ooh, ripped as well. Ooh. Ooh. Ryu actually has a really cool flow. I might gotta check out the entire album from last year, not just the Bobby song. Or like the Bobby feature with it. Ooh, now the soft free chorus. The music video is actually really interesting. I think we're actually playing a bit around with a show theme, you know, like we saw. Like a bit of old school, the medieval times and all this. Okay. That's actually a big pop moment, you know? Like a big boom. Very colorful, very cheerful visuals. Ooh, yeah, I... Ooh, ooh I love the... The way we went there down with the... But the is, that, is that him from last year? Did he release like a very huge album last year? I think you gotta check it out actually. Ooh. Oh, and that's a classic YG outro, you know? The group harmonies and group shouting. Hey, this is such good vibes though. Oh damn though, that's a very high pitched vocal there. Is he doing that live? Or is it edited? Oh, you can't do that. No. Oh wow, that's an actually really short song. But oh, you can't do that. I hate it so much when we like, you know, play a chorus for a third time and then just cut it off in the middle. Don't do that, please. Never cut off the last chorus. If you do with the second chorus, that's totally okay. You know, like make your song is short enough that you can do the chorus three times anyways. But if you ever want to cut off a chorus from free, either make it the first. So when then the second chorus comes around, the, the, the chorus feels even more fulfilling. You know, like we saw with IFC 11, you know, that we did that there too. Or just do with the second, so with the first to full, then cut off and then full again. Never ever cut off the final chorus. The, the, the final chorus is supposed to be the biggest, you know, the, the most fulfilling, the most satisfying one. Generally the ending of a song. You can't just throw in the chorus again and then just end it in the middle and then end the song like that. You're like, you know, that was so way too abrupt, okay? That's already a little bit, you know, eh, that's already putting me a bit, you know. Because this would be annoying on realisms, you know, you just want to vibe off the chorus again and then 
you know uh that that's up that's not my okay that's a little bit of a you know a um pet peeve for me okay i'm really not a big fan of when we cut up a chorus like that or generally any song or probably like that especially a song that's so short but anyways let's focus on the song itself though because it's a really fun song Okay, it's a different vibe. Okay, like mentioned, when we now compare the three songs we now checked out today, Empty Like Magic was a very soft pop a lot, while really, really was more of a feel good summer anthem that really wasn't too too fast or explosive either, but really more of a lean back style. I Love You is also more of a fun and lean back vibe, actually, in some way, you know, like it's also nothing heavy. It's actually a really bright concept in general thus far. I don't know if they ever did something, you know, more typical hip hop, why don't you, you know, like, um, like, you know, something heavy as Treasure or Big Bang have done or I could have done. You know, like, all three of these groups have had really, really heavy, aggressive, intimidating, and just, you know, comics like that, you know, Icons Bling Bling, Big Bang's Bang Bang Bang, as example, or Treasure's Mmm, as example, you know. None of these three songs really had that type of feeling, you know, Winner definitely feels the the, br the most brightest from all the YG boy groups we checked out this far. Is there actually another one? Big Bang, Winner, Icon, Treasure, anyone else? I should not know. But um, yeah, it's definitely very, very clearly um, noticeable, especially in this song I've mentioned here, especially in the second part. We have so many very colorful visuals. It's generally a way more fun and um, entertaining approach to the music video. Like I mentioned this section, especially with, um, I think, Binu and I think he was the dancer. I think he was the one that danced with um, Lisa, right? Wasn't it? Again, I'm not 100% sure. It's, it's my first time watching the full group here together, and I've only seen a bit of glimpses of the members beforehand. But the thing is, um, again, his voice here, really, really nice. And I'm actually gonna check, okay? I am actually going to check. Was that Song Yoon? Like Yoon? Du -du -du, let me check, let me check. Song Yoon? Or? Might be? Might be? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Kang Sung, yeah. That seems... I mean, at least he has blonde hair here too. Yeah, I think that I think that should be him. Yeah. Like when she actually had a Zolo song earlier this year again too. It's said maybe something we can do, you know, re-upload that reaction from last year to the self on my, on my files and everything with the new song from earlier this year. I think actually a treasure member helped produce him. I think it's I think it's him though. Yeah, yeah. And his voice, like mentioned, really, really nice. Okay, it's a really, really great tone. But the thing that I like mentioned, especially when I pointed is the chorus. Okay, the chorus is the first time now from a winter song I've seen where it really has that big bop moment, you know, where it really goes boom, you know, not just, you know, like subtly transitions over or just, you know, the sound remains the same, we have a bit of shouting or stuff, like really, really, this is, t this time really, it's a really big explosive moment, okay? And it goes really high. Okay, especially just generally the entire instrumental is way more, you know, there's so much more going on in comparison to the other songs. So many different sound elements, you know, like alone in these three seconds here. We have a guitar, we have like two different extra um, element elements there, where we have the, the bright EDM in the, as well going on, you know, so much happening for the ear. We start with the we start actually very normal like them I love like it basically goes like this I love you you know and I must say it's so way it works for me in some way not really like it I wouldn't say it feels it wouldn't say it feels weird but I feel like it's it might be a bit too high for me actually like especially here at the end I was I was questioning wow is that even natural so did they edit it was it here? Or was it in the second chorus? Let me check. Like I mentioned, this outro section really fun, you know, with the group harmonizing, shouting energy, really, really fun, really, really entertaining. But then, like here, is that live still? Or is that like, well, like, it does it sound just like that when they perform it live? Or is it like with the auto tune just added it that high, you know? Again, it, it just go, I feel like it's a bit. I don't know, realists will show it definitely more. But I feel like very high notes like that, especially when we do them so often or so, I think in you know, this case five times, 
maybe come too much on, you know, I, I feel like this may make the song a bit less loopable for me. I think the vibe of it, like, which is really fun in general, but I think it's more of a playlist song for me. I think it's more of the, t the type of song that you, like, listen to with 20 other songs, you know, like, listen to this, then 20 other songs, then maybe this one again, okay? I feel like this is definitely, I feel like it would, I feel like it would be a bit too much for me, you know, um, after several listens. I think it, it still works, like mentioned, in some way, but I don't think it's something in the long run that really works for my preferences. I think it's just a bit too high to, for that for me. You okay? can generally not the biggest fan of altitude in that sense, you know, it just feels a bit too too high for me. It like mentioned suits the explosiveness of the chorus, but I think it's just for my preference just a bit too high for me. Okay? Like it doesn't sound bad. But it, 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 it's just not my not my not my favorite you know delivery style basically okay like like Mitch, I love this uh, his flavor in the I love you and the I love part more than the you you know but it's okay okay like mention the chorus is still really cool and still really works for how the rest of the song works as well you know I think it's once again a very compact song quite short though like mentioned they definitely should have um, kept the um, chorus there in full at the end. But yeah, Winners Are Love is a very fun and entertaining release. Once again, okay, the music video was once again very colorful and very entertaining, very cheerful, very enjoyable. While the general sound direction was once again more into a feel-good direction. Yeah, definitely the most cheerful and brightest tone and concept from any YG boy group I've seen. Or just any YG song I've actually seen thus far, okay? Not just this song in general, but the entire group, okay? And it's also cool, you know, a bit more bright, a bit more, you know... Fun orientated releases here and there in between is always a good thing. I think this is an enjoyable finish to our first time listening to Winner. Like I mentioned, they have 12 other music videos for us to check out, which would make for free catching up on videos before music videos in each of them. But it's something we can do down the road. For now, I'd say it makes for a good finish to today's first time reacting to Winner. I had a lot of fun with this, I enjoyed it a lot. Hope you guys enjoyed my reactions if you did leave a like down below to show me that you did what are your thoughts on winner as a group your favorite song what are your thoughts on the songs we checked out today which song should i especially check out from you know the amount of 12 music videos and all that stuff and as always if you enjoyed what i'm doing if you want to support me let it be sub as well as support my patreon it will help me a lot we will see it again with winner down the road like mentioned we have a lot more music videos to go through um, we'll see how the reception is on this video to see okay how many people want to see more winner as well you know and other than that a lot of other great capo corner coming up so yeah have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe, happy, and happy. And see you again soon with more winner, more on the first time reactions, and much more K pop content. Thank you guys so much for watching.